Steve Mitchell. Please look at Steve on Smash Up. Okay, hello. Hello, everybody. Let's just wait for everyone to join us. Let's see who's going to be there. We are live on Instagram from Switzerland. Children are enjoying some Rice Krispies. We've got to save some for the actual baking that we're doing. Hi, Dina. Hi, Anjali. Hi, Asha. Hi. Hi, Isabel. How are you doing? Hello. Hi, Sheena. How are you? Hope everyone's well. So I'm today I'm sort of going to be slick, flicking between my screens because I've tried to get the YouTube one going as well. So hopefully it works and then I can save it and it will be available on my YouTube. So let's just wait a, a, a minute or so to get everybody there. While we're waiting, um, those of you who are using dates, can you start chopping and you want to blitz them? So mine looks like this. You can see... Mine's looking like this. I've already chopped them and I've already blitzed them. I've de-seeded them as well. If your dates are quite dry, I would just give them a soak in hot boiling water just for a, a minute or two and then go ahead and chop them, de-seed them and chop them and then pop them into a blitzer just to blitz that. Um, I think we'll get going. So let's quickly re refresh. We are making energy balls. These uh, energy balls are amazing because they're so forgiving. Um, they are a guilt-free treat for kids and for grown-ups and they're amazing. They taste delicious. And there are so many different varieties of energy balls that we can do. Like just on my YouTube, on my um, Instagram, I've got quite a few different um, uh, quite a few different versions of my uh, energy balls and you can chop and change things uh, depending on your taste preference at the time. So let's start. So I've already got my um blitzed uh, cashew there's my one cup of cashew nuts i've already whisked them in my coffee grinder um and then i've got my one cup of almond flour Hello, Daddy and Dada. With almonds, which have all, also been blitzed up um you just need to whisk that around there's your one cup of almond flour i've got half a half a cup of walnuts the thing I love about walnuts is that when you do blitz them, they've got so much moisture. So they that when you do mold it together when you're making the balls, there it just it just gives a real nice soft finish to the um, balls. You don't need as much coconut oil. I know. Uh, let's say a few more hellos. Um, hi from Ethan. Hello, Ethan. Hi, Parul. How are you? Um, hi, Peksha. How are you doing? Uh, hi, Philip. Philip says hello to Ishan. Hello, Philip. <laughs> That's so nice. Is this school friend? No, no. Okay. All right. You can. Can you scoop these ones up from here? Right. So, carrying on with the ingredients. Hi from Lara and Suri. Ishan, Lara and Suri, and uh, say hello as well. Well, who is Lara and Suri? <laughs> Do you remember we were doing the experiment the other day? <laughs> Right, these guys are enjoying the rice krispies. This is the thing I love about cooking with kids. Uh, it's always really unpredictable. Um, if, it, if your kids are anything like mine, they love eating as we go. And I love that because that really encourages them to enjoy the, the, the ingredients that we're using. And also, more than likely, they're, they're likely to actually eat what you've made. So, carrying on, um, we have got here uh, two to three tablespoons of chia seeds. So... I said two to three tablespoons simply because you can actually have more or a little bit less or you can completely omit that if you don't want to have the chia seeds at all. Um, I think these are great because it's got good plant-based fats in it. So really good if you are plant-based and you want to get some of that it down you. Uh, and then we have got our coconut oil. I've actually already uh, melted mine, so if you haven't, Grab your tablespoons, I've said three to four tablespoons of coconut oil and pop it in the microwave while it's while it's going on in the background. You do want it in a melted state because that's what's going to help um, mould the balls together. Now, I did put on my um, mess, feed. Papa. Mess, Papa. You're making a mess? You're making a mess? Okay, so I did put on my feed about... Um, 
substitutes. So like some people may not want nuts, some people may not like dates. Um, so what I would suggest in that situation, I, I have got a few other recipes. I can send them to you if you want to pop me a message. Um, but you can substitute the, the dates for... Um, uh, maple syrup with uh, maybe apricots. This was a suggestion that another friend that meant, uh, asked me on in on Instagram. Um, or you can try uh, peanut butter and maple uh, syrup with desiccated coconut and uh, what was the other what was the other thing? I've got it written down here. And oats. So um, the sweetness then comes from the maple syrup and a bit of the uh, really lovely sort of flavour from the peanut butter sort of mixing with the maple syrup. So I think a few of you are going to do that version. If you are, that's great. Um, so yeah, should we get going before these guys eat all of the rice? Oh, and some of the other substitutes that we talked about was um, desiccated coconut, uh, shredded uh, fresh coconut, grated um, fresh coconut is, is great. Um, uh, you can use desiccated coconut that has a little bit more sweetness. You can also use... Um, uh, cacao, uh, some cacao powder. <laughs> we're really not going <laughs> to eating from the tin. We're really not going to have any uh, Rice Krispies left. Rice Krispies are also a, a good one to um, include as well. Um, so ours are going to be gluten free. We use uh, gluten free Rice Krispies. Um, should we stop eating these now and should we save them for the actual energy board? What do you think? Should we get mixing? No, it's not for me. So this is the gluten free. A vegan plant based, really delicious yumminess for anyone that needs that sweet tooth kind of fix. Uh, but it's so healthy, so you could, you know, have two or three of these and you do not need to feel guilty, which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, that gets a tick in my book. So let's get going. I'm going to grab myself a bowl. Um, so let's go so here's my bowl let's should we go should we get going right have we got our mixing where's our mixing spoon right just all you've got to do is one I need oh dear okay so do you want one as well should i give you one okay oh all right oh, Emergency. Okay, just a second. Let's get going. Let's start mixing it. Do you want to mix? Do you want to do the mixing? Yeah. Okay, no, no, so. No, no, no. All right. You don't want to mix? This one. All right, we're going to mix all of this. So start popping everything into your bowl. And if you've already blitzed your dates, that's fine. Just, just literally, you're going to pop everything in. So in goes. So we've already got some Rice Krispies no, in there. Me. Alan, you, Alan, you have this one. Okay, now when you're mixing, can you mix slowly because we don't want flour going everywhere. Um, so in goes my walnuts. I will show you what the consistency looks like. Now if you've got any questions, uh, do let me know. I'm just going to have a look to see if you've got any questions. Um, so these are not... Okay. Mummy's talking to everybody, so can I just um, speak? So these are not going to be baked, by the way. They're going to be moulded into balls, then put into a tray. Now, I usually use my big pally, and I put it in here, and then they get popped into the fridge. They're going to sit in the fridge for about half an hour, and then you're, they're good to go. Once, you're, once they've been chilled, all you've got to do is pop them into an airtight container, and you, they'll keep for up to two weeks. But trust me, guys, they will not last. They are so delicious. So, And my kids have been eating. Like Ishan's been making these with me since he was, I believe, just a, a one and a half. The first time we made them together, he was about one and a half. So these are really delicious. So in goes my cashews. Right, can we Yay. do, can we, and you know, one of the good things about this lockdown is that when the kids are tucking into the bowl that you're making, you know, nobody's coming around, nobody's eating this with us, so I won't be serving it like this to anybody because my kids' fingers and, and they're sort of eating as we go. Um, and in goes my almond, uh, crushed almonds, right, give that a good mix, boys, good boy. Right, should we take it in turns? My turn, your turn. Do, do, you, do you want to put those in? And in goes the chia seeds. So how are we guys doing? Have we got any questions? Everyone doing okay? Fabulous. Okay. So we're waving and we're giving thumbs up. So hi, everyone. Okay, so now we're going to go. With, ooh, what's that? Do you know what that is? 
Dates. Dates. So we're going to put the dates in. All right, you, you do it, you do it. Careful. Shall, let me hold the bowl. Let me hold the bowl and you... That wasn't very good of mummy, was it? Oh, very good. You guys are super strong. Should we... Should we try this one? You, you, you do it. You do it. Yeah, you do it. Go on, scoop it out. There we go. And we just want to really give it a mix. Like, we're doing this by hand because obviously... Oh, careful, careful, careful. Wait a minute. Before we put the oil in, this goes in last, Aaron. Before we put the oil in, this goes in last. So what you want to do is if you want to do it much... Uh, quick, uh, if you want to do it quickly, you can put it all in like a food processor and just blend it all up together. Or you can do like what we're doing, uh, do it by hand and give it a really good mix. We're not putting the oil in yet. You, you want to do it? I'll let you do it, okay? Mummy will let you do it. So, Rice Krispies. We're going to put some Rice Krispies. Now, again, it's entirely up to you how much Rice Krispies you want to put in. Um, we've got some lovely gluten-free Rice Krispies and knowing... Yep, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> but you can put as much as little as you want. And you know the nicest thing about the Rice Krispies is that it really gives it a nice crispy edge, um, which I quite like when I'm chomping on one. Uh, oh look, we've got some more in there. Should we put those? Now remember, if you're putting in slightly more drier ingredients than what I've originally put on my recipe, what you want to do is just up your oil. But take your time with that. So just literally um, see what the consistency is like. And if it feels like it's a bit too dry with the oil that I've already made, measured out and set in my recipe, then add a little bit more. Um, and again, if you're adding any other drier ingredients like some cacao powder, you can also add cinnamon, some powdered cinnamon, which is really good for insulin. It's uh, another way to get that sweetness out of these balls. We're not going to use that today. We're not using that today. Okay, so can Aaron have a little turn? This is Aaron. Oh, yes. So can you just let him have a go now? Aaron, you want to have a go to give it a mix? Right, so before you add the oil, you want to make sure that the dates and the flour have really mixed up and combined. Because, oh, so the dates come, came out in a bit of clumps for me, which, which, which is normal. Maybe it's not so much for you. Um, just make sure. And you might, again, want to just get your hands in there. I love anything that we have to make with our hands because you can really feel the consistency there. You you can put your hands in, but now when you're putting your hands in, you're doing this, you're massaging. You know how you give mummy a massage? You will have to wash your hands. No, when I'm using this, I don't. Okay, come on, mix it like this and make sure it stays in. So, have we got a coconut oil substitute? Um, to be completely honest, I don't know because I have never done these without coconut oil. I suppose any oil could work, but then the flavour would change. So, okay, they're having fun. Again, as I said, baking with kids, cooking with kids, is very unpredictable. Just be prepared that there is going to be mess everywhere. So, uh, can you use any flour? Um, any flour? So, um, okay, okay, let's stop. Let, no, 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 no. Okay, all right, Ishan, Ishan, one minute. We are just going to divide this into two halves, into a little <laughs> smaller portion so the kids can have um, something to play around with. Um, you know what? I've actually yes. cheated in today's recipe because sometimes I don't have enough almonds. So I've actually used... Okay, there you go. That's it. That's it. That's both of yours to share now. That's both of yours to share. Oh, we are getting flour everywhere. So... Um, I've never tried it with any other flour. The whole point is that it's meant to be a nutty type of texture. Now you can use oats. Um, you can actually just use rolled oats. Um, no, 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 Aaron. Now, no, Aaron. Now you have to use what's there. No more. Okay. Thank you. You can just use rolled oats. No, this is your bowl. Shall I give you a bowl for you? Yeah. Okay. Let me just get a bowl. I'll be back in one second. I'm just going to grab a bowl for the little one. Okay, Ishan, let him know. No, let, let Aaron have this one, okay? Thank you. So, um, you can use oats. Now, you can just leave them as rolled oats. Um, they are really, really fabulous. 
with this and again full of goodness and um, if you want it to be more powdery you can just grind them down you know this is my fourth session there was always going to be one session where we were going to have a little bit more mess and someone was going to be upset so Aaron this is your one so you can put your hand in and you can mix it up we to, should we make them into balls now right I'm going to just carry on with this a little bit more and then I'm going to show you what my consist no Aaron Aaron um oh Okay, so I'm just going to carry on with this so I can show you the consistency before we pop in the oil. Okay, so, oh, what's that? Okay, one down. So maybe we'll be able to salvage some of this mess. My goodness, you don't even want to see what mess is down here. <laughs> okay, so this is what my consistency is looking like. Can you see? It's powdery but a little bit of moisture in there okay and then we you know let's just pop this back in here you can do the last part of the recipe Shan. okay you can do the last part we're going to add the oil um so uh i think somebody suggested on there instead of using uh uh, coconut oil maybe you can use melted peanut butter and melted honey yes definitely so there was somebody who asked me for a substitute recipe um so you could use a cup of oats so let me just go through that again one and a half cups of oats uh keep them as rolled oats one cup of peanut butter good quality peanut butter because these are not just um any old snacks you know these are quite they're healthy they're good for you you want to get all those good fats out of it uh, to, 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 to reap the rewards of, of, of making these. Um, and then you want to use half a cup of um, uh, coconut, desiccated coconut and then a quarter cup of uh, maple syrup or you can use butter or you can use um, uh, coconut oil if you've got it or honey. Honey is also a really nice substitute because it gives a good sweetness. Right, here is my consistency. As you can see, now I'm going to go in with my oil. Right, let's get this, Ishan. Should we try and put some oil in? Do you want yeah. to do the mixing? Okay, so where's my oil? Right, popping in the oil. And I already know that I'm probably, should we use this one, Ishan? Because. Look at my chair! Okay, let's move your chair. No, don't use this one, please. Please. Ah. This one, this one helps break the sides, so we have to work quickly now and really mix up. Okay, so once your oil's gone in, you're at the final stage of this, and what you want to do is you want to mix it all up. Now, if your consistency is drier, I'll show you in a second of how, what the consistency needs to be like. <coughs> Mine is already looking like at the moment because a lot of my mixture went <laughs> all over the kitchen and the floor. Uh, mine's already looking like it needs a little bit. Can I just have a quick look if we need yeah. more flour? Yeah, let's just see. Okay, mine's looking quite gooey. So I already know that I need, can you see? Okay, I already know that I need a little bit more flour so i'm just going to pop a little bit more um almond flour in because i already have this uh ready as i said i didn't have enough um <laughs> almond flour. i'm just going to pop a bit more in and if yours is a little bit drier then you need to uh add in uh, a little bit more uh, oil and if you're not using oil, you could use the maple syrup. Right, let me, can I have a look and see if this is ready to um, make into balls? Are you going to shake them with me, Ishan? Can I just, I just want to see, I just want to see, to see, Ishan, Ishan, I want to see if we need more flour because then everybody can see. But right, let's try and get in there and see if we can make. Right. So mine are make it coming into, they are able to be shaped, but I can feel the stickiness, so I'm going to add in a little bit more um, flour. 
and you can do the same. Uh, I love that this is the re reality of baking with toddler. Of course it is. Um, if you've, oh no, 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 not yet. We're not ready to put it in there yet. I'm ready. Okay, so then we have to make balls. If you're ready, we have to make balls, okay? No, I want to make a volcano. All right, you, let me give you another plate for you to make a volcano with, All right? Hold on a minute. Yeah, I mean, baking or cooking with children, you really need to be very, very flexible. <laughs> Um, so, so once you've uh, got your mixture all ready to mould, I would uh, start making little balls. Now when you make the little balls, you want to kind of aim for uh, the size of slightly smaller than ping pong balls. So no, no, that's enough, okay? That's enough. One, that's enough. No, that's enough. Thank you. Okay, so it, it's going to look like this. So if you can see, okay, so I'm sort of showing you on here and showing you on YouTube. Um, and then you can get a plate of some coconut and then roll this in the coconut so it's coated on the outside with coconut if you like. Um, obviously you don't have to. I'm just gonna give my hand a bit of a wash <coughs> so I can just get that coconut ready because we like the coconut. Oh, goodness me, the mess. Right, just going to get some coconut here. Oh, what is this? So all you do is put your, just sprinkle a bit of coconut on the outside and then pop it into your tray. And we're just going to repeat this process until you have used up all your mixture. Now, depending on how you prefer your children to eat these, you or you, you can make them smaller, you can make them bigger, you can even make them into squares, they they do, or a volcano, as Ishan is doing. Yes, you can. Thank you. Um, and now you can see all the mess that my kids have created as well. I need a little more. Okay, is that, is that your volcano? And just keep going with the with the balls and pop them into your tray. And then once you're done, you just want to um, pop it into the fridge, as I said, for half an hour. And that is it. After half an hour, they're ready to consume. And then you just want to pop them into uh, an airtight container and they will keep and I'm laughing because I said this before, they won't last, but they will keep for up to two weeks. Um, and, you know, hopefully you, you don't feel so bad about eating something like this. In the past, I have also um, blitzed some uh, goji berries. Goji berries are just so delicious and the colour is so vibrant when you blitz it. It's like this really lovely saffron orange. It's so lo lovely. Um, I've also used goji berries before. I've also used flax seeds. I love Linwood's flaxseed mix. Um, and then obviously you've got your kukawa. You can also Mommy. pop in, like if you want to be cheeky with a little bit of a naughty treat. Wow, that is amazing. Wow, we're going to pop that in the fridge and are you going to eat that later? I think you might have to eat that in three days rather than one. Why? It's quite big. No. Okay. So, um, I've also used, uh -huh. uh, you can also put in some chocolate chips, some black dark chocolate chips or some white chocolate chips. You know, the thing I absolutely love about this recipe is that, you know, energy balls can be made to your palate. However you want to make them. Yeah. I've got more things on here. What would you like? Very good. That's why I want to put some more, much more healthy things. What healthy things do you want to put? I don't know yet. I have to find it. Okay. So you need to wash your hands because you've got all of that on you. Thank you. Uh, how is everybody doing? Um, how are your energy ball shapes coming along? Anyone got any questions? Any issues? Um, they can be very delicate at this stage when you're rolling. If you feel like they're breaking up a little bit, uh, it might be because you're being a little bit too rough. Um, but if not, that's great. 
Uh, everyone okay? Okay, that's good. So, I'm going to keep going with these. And as I said, I'll say it again. What's that? <laughs> peanuts. Okay, so if you're going to put peanuts, then you keep it that way, and then I'll keep all this separate. Okay. Um, so, how's everybody doing with the lockdown? Everyone feeling positive? Happy? Anyone doing anything nice? Did everyone indulge in the Easter weekend? We had a lovely uh, Easter egg hunt, which my sister organised on Zoom, which was good fun. It's always nice to have a little bit of a challenge and something that you would normally do. Uh, a few people talking about... Because we can't do anything to that, and it's so messy, I'm going to eat that in the bowl. Okay, so your volcano is going to go in the fridge for half an hour. What will happen to these nuts? Nothing will happen to the nuts. Um, so, yeah, so just keep um, going with the moulding. And right now, like, my kids are now gone. So now I'm continuing this on my own. I'm looking at the mess, which is driving me mad. <laughs> but, but it is what it is. Um... So, I'll be making these later with my son. Great, thank you. Oh, he's napping, okay. Perfect. Uh, yes, so just if you want, I'll run through the recipe really quickly again. Uh, so, it's one cup of ground almonds, um, one cup of ground cashews, uh, half a cup of... Um, ground walnuts now you don't have to use those particular nuts you can use any other but those are the the ratios as i said i really like using walnuts because they have a little bit more moisture in them and you know they're so good for you um, and then you want two to three tablespoons of um chia seeds but again this is entirely up to you you don't have to include them you can have more you can have less depending on your palate you then also want to go with um uh, three to four tablespoons of coconut oil. Um, you don't have to put coconut oil. You can try maple syrup. Um, that's also a good substitute. Or honey. Um, what else have we got? And then you want to go and mix it all together. You want to make sure... Oh, sorry. And 24 chopped dates. Uh, I said 24. About 200 grams of chopped dates. You want to de-seed them, chop them. If your date's looking in appearance a bit dry... You want to um, you want to um, soak them in hot water uh, for about two to three minutes, and then just give them a chop, de-seed them and chop them, de-pit them rather, and give them a chop. Um, but if you are following me on Instagram, uh, what should I cook? You can see that I've actually posted the ingredients list in one of my recent feeds. Um, I would really love it if. As usual, all my regular bakers, can you please um, take lots of photos of the final product, um, send me the pictures, tag me in your pictures. I would love to see uh, uh, what your products look like. And then, of course, um, I will repost them. I love seeing what you guys are making. Um, and I'm really enjoying these sessions. So I'm just going to stop for a minute and just show you what mine are looking like so that you can see. Uh, so, let's just, okay, so here are my, can, can you see them? Oh, they're sliding around. Okay, there you go. So, then once I've finished all the mixture, I'm going to pop these in the fridge for half an hour, let them set, and enjoy them. Um, so yeah, so unless anyone's got any questions, um, please do, as I said, tag me in your creations and uh, I will repost them. So I hope you've enjoyed today's Baking with Kids and your kitchen's not looking as messy as mine um, and, you've been, and you've enjoyed the session. So as I said, send the photos through and I will catch you this time next week. 
Uh, if you've got any questions, last minute questions, I'll just hang on for a minute. Otherwise, I will love you and leave you. And I will see you same time next week. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Enjoy your energy balls. And don't feel guilty. Bye, everyone.